action. This is the walking lunge. Go down 90 degrees. Hold briefly. This is six by single leg sit down stand up going all the way down touch your bottom to a chair and stand up without using your other foot if at first you don't get this you can have somebody support you from the front with their hands help pull you up Otherwise, try it like this. All right, action. This is 25 by up routine. Moving the knee straight up. See the foot should never extend out past the knee. And also never touch the ground. It's an exercise in balance and also works your hip flexor strength. This is the T push up. See, so you go up and down slow, move up into a T, back down again, and then up into a T on the other side. Just hold it for like one or two seconds when you hold that T, go up again, and you do that ten times. Action. This is the trail leg drill. One thing you want to focus on when doing this drill is making sure when you bring your knee through you try and get it as level with your hips as possible. Um, this helps build hip strength. Okay, this is shoes. First minute, you start with a front raise. Second minute, you go to the side. When you do this one, you shouldn't do it like Sam and bring your hands above your shoulders. Your hands should never go higher than your shoulders. They should all be controlled movements too. The third minute is a fly. Again, you shouldn't be swinging your arms on this. It should be a controlled movement. Your hands should never move behind your back. The third, the th I'm sorry, the fourth minute, like this. Again, your hands should never come below your shoulders on this movement. And the fifth minute is a press. Now, during the press, your your elbows should never come below your shoulders. There you go. All very controlled movements. One minute each exercise. No rest in between. So it's five minutes constant shoe lifting. So this is the incline bench press. As you can see down here, this is how we have the weight bench adjusted. One or two notches or two notches up from the um, fully reclined setting. Doing the inclined bench, you're going to bring the bar to the full up position, down to your chest, and back up again. This is the inclined bench. It's important when you first start doing these lifts um, to start with just the bar, that's okay until you get the actual movement itself down. It's more important to do it correctly than it is to do with more weight. This is the multi-hip machine. Staying out here, Sam's doing the adductor exercise, moving your leg down pressures on your inner groin area, your hips. This is the 
hamstring exercise. Moving it all the way back and all the way through his body. And you need to adjust it to do your other side. Adductor on the other leg. Hamstring on the other leg. Now, the hip flexor. See moving all the way up into a 90 degree position. And finally, this is the abductor. Moving out. Abductor on the other leg. This is the lap pull. Let's see, Sam's bringing the bar down to his chest and back up. It should be a controlled movement. Again, you're not going for speed on this lift. This is the seated row. So you can see that the row bar gets brought right to your chest. Extend the elbows behind you. You should have your chest out and your back straight while you're doing this exercise. It's the one-legged dumbbell press. Again, standing on one leg, balancing, and then again you see elbows never come below the shoulders, and then it's just a regular dumbbell press on top of that. Obviously, do this uh, sets of twelve. This is the squat. You should have your feet shoulder width apart and you move down to 90 and back up. Make sure you really accentuate the bottom portion of the squat getting all the way down to 90. If the bar is too heavy you can rack the bar. Instead of doing 8 squats you can do 8 prisoner squats or air squats which is the same exact thing that Sam is doing here only without the bar. Stand same position hands behind your head and then go down to 90 degrees and back up. And you would do that 16 times. This is the physio ball push-ups. So you can see you're not bouncing on top with your feet. You're squeezing the ball with your feet around the sides. And then you go into your push-ups. Make sure you have a firm grasp on the ball with your feet. This is the physio ball plank. Use your balance yourself on there. You want to make sure while you're doing this, you're flexing your butt cheeks, making sure you're keeping up nice, firm, straight back while you're balanced on there. And you do this 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three minutes.